what's going on guys? I am Watts Chiargo and today is Friday and it's also my first day with the Duke 390. Uh, can't wait to go tear it up right after I get it unhooked from the ground here. <laughs> I should probably just pick this bad boy up. I do hope the clock on this bike is way wrong. Uh, I didn't really check that last night, but uh, if it's not way wrong, I'm really late. I made that. Really no question about it. Definitely time to get to the front here. Zip up here real quick like. Looks like some Harley action over there. And it looks nice too. I finally found out where the rev limiter is on this thing. It's actually pretty far up there. I think it's 10 grand. And that's a nice truck you might say. I am starving, so let's go get some food. Okay, so I saw some stuff on the internet about it not having enough brakes, and the internet was right. I read some other stuff that was like, the brakes are great. Nah, the brakes are okay. Berber brakes or fiber brakes, whatever they are, they will stop, but you have to actually use a little braking pressure. I am starving, but I also need socks. So uh, I'm gonna go by the store where I wanna see if they have my socks. Here's the thing. I found the perfect sock a few years ago. It's the Under Armour Charge Cotton 2.0, uh, like low cut, not the full no show because that's annoying and then your socks move around on your ankles while your shoes are there. So, you know, I like the low cut. I, I feel like I'm not asking too much, but uh, it appears the Under Armour has killed off that sock. So I'm gonna go check Academy, see if it's around. You're like, oh, socks, it's not that big of a deal. It's kind of a big deal. You have to deal with socks every day of your life. Why can't they just be easy? All right, here we go. Did I win the lottery? No, not yet. Under Armour. Ooh. These are the wrong ones. They don't have the toe logo. Well, it appears my Under Armour socks are gone forever. So here I am on the best aisle that uh, has ever existed. And uh, let's look at some cool stuff. Heat seeking scope. Wow, this is crazy. I'm gonna need one of those in my life. All right, all right. I'm coming back later with like a car and buying uh, all new Nike socks and throwing away all the Under Armour socks. Sorry, Under Armour, it's over. I'd say that mission's complete. Now it's time for some food. Ooh. What's up, girl? You looking good sitting over here. Kickstand switch on this is really weak. I'll give it that. Like, when I say really weak, I mean really weak. It doesn't actually, I can actually put the kickstand down right now. And it finally died. Maybe it has like a slight delay before the kickstand switch actually kicks in, but uh, yeah, that's not good. I like to shut the bike off using the kickstand switch. It means I've arrived at my destination. Slim Chickens is packed. All I wanted was a little bit of chicken for lunch. Good thing I can get through this little gap where somebody like decided to park and is in no way a parking spot. In no way. It's one. What on earth is happening at one on a Friday to make people come to Slim Chickens in mass? Tell you what I would like. Yeah, this girl's on her phone. She's not paying any attention. Honestly, the best case scenario when no one's paying attention and you can just do whatever you want. All right, we have arrived. Lunch is over and this looks bad. We've got some lightning and thunder, cool breeze rolling in hot. I don't know how a cool breeze rolls in hot, but that's what it's doing. I'm going to book it back and uh, hopefully avoid this. 
Who am I kidding? I book it everywhere. Anyway, I checked the radar while I was eating lunch. Uh, sky looked pretty clear. There was like a little spot of rain and I was like, oh yeah, that's fine. I looked outside, it was kind of dark and I was like, ah, the weather's right. The weather was wrong. It was so wrong. I'm about to get obliterated. All right, all right, the rain has stopped, but the KTM's been sitting out in the rain, and I bet that is soaking wet. So, uh, I don't have a choice. I gotta ride it. I also better follow Andrew's GTR around. Hey. I wanted some. Let's go check out this car and bike show. Uh, I've kind of already learned to just stop looking at the gauges on this bike uh, because this hack is too small to be usable and the shift light is super annoying and always flashing. Like it'll start flashing right here at like 6,000 or something. Okay, it won't. There it goes, for no reason. A Z4, Evo 10. Oh dang, this car show is getting packed. That one SI. Never forget his tag. Hey, you know that one SI? I'm pretty sure that you want to turn here. I don't know why they're going that way. These guys posted a picture on one of our local groups a minute ago and it said like, show up and win this prize. And I was like, well, what if I go get my Ducati and win this prize? What up, fools? What's up? Nothing. Yeah, I would win if I brought the good bike, huh? Well, the you, what? <laughs> the Ducati. He's on his KTM right there. Yeah, I would. No, you wouldn't. What KTM? The white one. Oh, the RC8? No. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. Uh, uh, which one? C90. Oh, the 390? C90. Oh. C90. What's the C90? It's a dirt bike. I've never seen that one. It's right there, bro. Yeah. I, it's like, it's literally behind the hood of the Corvette. It's a 390. Yeah. That's a 390. Word. What up, dude? Good to see you, man. You too. Hey, bike. Oh, yeah. Yep. On FB. You ride it all the way back? Yep. Yeah. It's too hot, brother. It is too hot. Yeah. It sucked. Uh, earlier I went to lunch and I was, you know, there was no rain in the forecast or anything, so I didn't wear my jacket. Starts pour. <laughs> so, whatever. At least it's nice now. Yeah, it wasn't that big of a turn. It was raining like yeah. until. Yes. Oh. 100%. Hey. What's up? Perfect rims for you, man. Do you? They're gold. I like the orange. They're, they're forged yeah, gold. I, I'm not sure I'm baller enough to have gold wheels. Yeah. yeah, these guys were in front of me, and then they got lost for like seven minutes. <laughs> This Evo 10 looks nice. All right, guys. I'll, I'm gonna make a loop and I'll hit you up later. All right, later. All right, you guys know how I was having that sock problem earlier? I fixed it. That is what I'm talking about. Sorry, Under Armour, you're gone forever. All right, all right, it's go time again. Zach is here, so that means the Grom is coming out with the 390, and I'm ready to roll. Let's go do some shenaniganizing. We came out here earlier today, and I've had problems with this key the entire day, so we uh, took some uh, white lithium grease, filled the key cylinder, and now it slides in and out properly, and it also should go to lock much easier. Earlier today, that was absolutely killing me, so I'm happy that's fixed. Let's party. This is a much better combo than what we've been doing so far, which was always the Fury and the Grom, or the Ducati and the Grom, or the Ducati and the Fury. 
those two work together pretty well actually the ducati and the fury because you know they can both cruise at highway speeds without a huge problem <laughs> zach's doing 60 so that's about as fast as you can go on a grom without a full build you know i didn't expect him to push it this far he doesn't have to because i'll i'll keep all the cars away from him First things first, we go explore this new road that they just poured. Eventually, this will be the turnpike entrance onto Kellogg. Right now, it is beautiful new concrete. Wow. It's so nice. Also, I think it ends right here. This is where the new bridge is going in. Ooh, look, we can keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, this looks like it's going to be another ramp. This appears to be one of the ramps that'll have the turnpike toll booth on it. I always love going and checking out new roads before they're done. I think we hit the end of the line here. Let's flip it around. It actually looks like this bridge is complete right here, which is pretty crazy. They've been out here pouring it for quite a while, so let's see what's done. All right, well, it might be complete, but you definitely can't get down it. Oh, it's all wood. That's a cool view you won't see very often. A uh, four-lane wide bridge, and it's all just plywood and two-by-fours until the uh, concrete gets poured. Freaking sweet. I definitely took my Triumph Daytona down basically this exact same thing before uh, they finished building Kellogg. I'd say it was quite a bit smoother than this, but it was still cool to be there before they actually got everything done. Okay, where's the smooth part of this road? <laughs> Found it. Oh snap! That's pretty cool. You can see all the way down in the footing. That's pretty cool! Awesome. What? <laughs> yeah, what? <well, laughs> that's cool though, right? Let's see, uh, they poured all this concrete up here, I think. We sure can't get up there. If I follow this truck's tracks, they're really smooth. Success. I made it extremely smoothly this time. Zach Spice flying around back there. Sorry, bro, I wish you had a bigger wheel set up. Okay, that's like a challenger. I was concerned it was a cop for a second. I came around here like two days ago and this truck tried to jump over this here median and was completely sideways, stuck up in the air, like right here, like right, right in there somewhere. I mean, we're talking like, it looked like he drifted sideways and then lost it and just went straight up over. But he definitely did it on purpose because he was trying to turn around. That's a mistake. Is that I want to go. I think I can turn around right here.
Ah, it's like we're cops turning around in the median. <laughs> it feels so cool. This has been closed for like three, four years now. Okay, maybe three. I'm gonna say three years it's been closed. And it's super cool to be on it again. This ramp is definitely one of the most fun ramps to just haul like 85, 90 down. Where to, boss? I wanna look at this real quick, it hit something. It did it? Yeah. How's it look? It's a little loose, but not bad. Like, we'll fix that later. It's not unbelievable. Uh, pull it over on its kickstand real fast. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, now lift back. I think it's clean. How, the brakes are good? Yeah, both brakes, man. With all your movements and turns. Now this is some cool stuff. Uh, this will be the fly under part of Kellogg here in uh, one more year. Check out this racetrack that they built for us. It's perfect. Looks like a flat track oval, only small in scale. <laughs> go around the track a couple laps like it's a race. I can't go left. I gotta go right. That's not true. All bikes go left all the time. No, but I have no balance on my left. Fine, we'll go the wrong way. Apparently, Zach can only race flat track in reverse. I've never seen such a thing before. <laughs> I forgot that flat trackers don't have front brakes, but then again, the rear brake is all the way in ABS. I can't catch him! <laughs> so much ABS. I was trying to pass you! <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, let's wait for this car and then dip back and go to this one real quick. I want to check it out. All right, let's do it. And this time, we've got equipment. It definitely looks like they're spending all of their time over here. Now this is what I do this for. That is a bridge straight under the main road, completely dug out. So cool to see. We'll be driving through there in one more year. Yeah, maybe five. No, it's one year, it has to be. That's what I came for, dog. Let's do it. That's a nice crane, you might say. ABS 
all I want to do is enjoy life and power slide the bike around. It was like, nope, no fun for you, sir. No fun. That was a heckin' blast. Can't wait to drive on it for real. Ah, oh, the 17 is so cool! I told you it needed to be a 17 390. This is a 690. It's super awesome, so clean. Brembo brakes, so it probably stops like it's supposed to. This is. I mean, let me tell you this story. First, that car is going the wrong way on a one way street. But we're sitting here, we're at Old Chicago, we're eating dinner. You guys have seen the Duke 390 by now. Welcome to Wichita. And then we're sitting here, we see the Huracan, we've got our bikes with the Huracan, and we just hear this big boom behind us, and there's smoke like coming up from our table. And this dude just slams into this car like 40 mile an hour, inches from the Huracan. It's really sketch. <laughs> I love it. Let me just reverse down the road the wrong way. Somehow he got out of the, what? He doesn't even have his lights on. That guy just got out of so many tickets just because of this wreck's going on. He probably got out of going to jail. This guy's going to jail. He is so drunk. Like, can't stand up drunk. Kids, don't drink and drive. It's the wrong move. Let me show you the carnage real quick. It's massive. It takes a lot to rip the fender off a car now. Luckily the Huracan's good, the bikes are good, the wreck didn't take us all out, and it's time for food. The epic wreck is still going on, the driver's going to jail. Once again, don't drink it. Today was the first day on the KTM Duke 390. We had a blast with it. It is covered in dirt from off-roading and everything. So I will be cleaning it up even more, even though, I mean, the whole goal of buying it was to get this cleaned up and road ready, but now the Grom and the 390 need cleaned up. Not a big deal, that shouldn't take too long. The camera batteries died over and over and over today as well. So I got new batteries coming and some extra chargers to try to resolve that problem for you guys and that is it for today please like share subscribe do whatever you want to do and i will talk to you guys next time